I'm Vincent Balastre for the International Business Times, and this is the HTC One M8. Now, the last HTC One was a great phone, but it couldn't quite knock off the Samsung Galaxy line. With this new generation, though, is HTC finally poised to take the Android crown from Samsung? So let's start with the good stuff. I'll just come out with it. This is one of the best constructed phones I've ever held. And it's the prettiest Android yet. It contours to a large set of hands like mine. It almost feels like an Android version of the iPhone 5. The single piece brushed aluminum body is gorgeous as far as phones go. It rests well in your hand with just enough weight for you to say to yourself, huh, this feels like a quality piece. One of HTC's main selling points for the one is Blinkfeed, an app of sorts that curates all of your social and news feeds into one section. I've never been one for an all-in-one app like this, but Blinkfeed is surprisingly pleasant to use with a load of customizable news and social sources to choose from. Now I've heard people complain about the large bezels on the HTC One, and normally I'd be right there with them. But the bottom black bezel is nicely broken up by the HTC logo, so right on there. The aluminum bezels are not something to complain about because they house the second best feature of the phone, the speakers. They are loud. These speakers put other phones and even some tablets to shame. Sure, the bass is still lacking, but as far as phones go, you're not going to get better than this right now. They were even able to cut through the noise of Dumbo. Add a case with a kickstand and you have a mini theater on your lunch break. But the most impressive feature by far is the camera. Now on paper, it doesn't sound like a flagship phone setup. The main rear camera is a 4 megapixel lens assisted by another 4 megapixel lens. Yeah, 4. What on earth is HTC doing? Well, there's an auxiliary lens above the main unit, and while I won't bore you with the tech behind it, what it basically does is act as a second focus to assist the main lens. Couple that with a back illuminated sensor, and the camera handles low light shots a lot better. Throw in the magical witchcraft that is the Zoe camera application, and you get photos that are way better than they have any right to be on paper. Even the video is pretty killer. And it's all backed up by a super fast 2.3 GHz quad core processor that keeps pace with the rest of the brand leaders, so it doesn't lack for power. Not everything is quite so good though. The power button is on the top of the frame, it's a weird location. I don't like having to reach over the phone to turn it on or lock the screen. There's also no physical button on the front of the HTC One, a design choice I'm still not a big fan of. And thanks to that sealed case, you can't remove the battery which might be an issue for you if you're a power user who's used to swapping batteries midday like the Galaxy line. On balance, the HTC One M8 makes a good case for itself, and I couldn't find any glaring issues with it, and that's the first time I've said that about a phone. It's pretty safe to say that, barring a perfect review from the LG G3, the HTC One M8 is possibly the best Android phone you can get.